KPAC Manians, here we're getting to the word problems now. A mug has a capacity of 16 fluid ounces. If Mr. P needs to fill 26 mugs with coffee, how many quarts of coffee does he need? So pause for a second. What do I need to know first? I wanna go from ounces, obviously, to quarts because it wants me to find quarts. Okay, this is what I know. This is what I need to find. How many quarts, right? And there's 26 mugs of coffee. So what do I need to do first? Okay, if you're back, if you said I need to multiply 26 times 16 to get the total number of ounces, you're right. If I have one mug, it's 16 ounces. If I have two, it's 32. If I have three, it's 48, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If I wanna find how many is in 26, I just multiply by 26. So I'm gonna take my 16 times 26. This is my total ounces. Okay, so six times six. Go ahead and do this problem, then come back and check with me. Pause. All right, six times six. You got that 36, right? Six times one is six, plus three is nine. I get my 96. What do I put here? Just like always, I'm gonna put a zero because that's 20, not two. Two times six is 12, right? Cross that three out, put the one up there. What's two times one? Two plus one, three. All right. So now I'm gonna add six plus zero. Check your answer with mine. I get six, nine plus two is 11, and one plus three is four. I get 416 ounces total. So that's my first step. My second step is I gotta turn ounces into quarts. Well, how do I do that? I have to look at my chart or I have to go step by step. I gotta go divide by eight to get cups, divide by two to get um, pints, and then divide by two again to get quarts, which is eight times two times two, which is eight times two is 16 times two is 32. And if I look at my chart, I go to capacity, quarts. I wanna go from ounces to quarts. I go ounce down to quarts. It says 1 32nd, 1 32nd. And if it says 1 32nd, that is a fraction. So I know that it's a division problem. So I take my 416 and I divide that by 32. Okay, how many 32s can I take from 41? That's the first question I gotta ask myself. So I look at the three and that's a four. I, I'm guessing it's probably just one. All right, so I'm gonna put a one here and subtract 32. One minus two, good, can't do that. So cross off my four, make that a three, I get an 11. 11 minus two is nine. Good, and three minus three is zero, and then I bring down my six, and I get 96. Now here's where you gotta guess, okay? Guess and check a little bit. You can make an educated guess, or you can make a random guess, um, and you can make a good guess. If I don't know at all, what number do I always start with? Five, right? And so I'm gonna pretend that I don't know. I'm gonna go 32 times five. Five times two is 10, good. And five times three is 15 plus the one gives me 16. So I get 160, that's way, 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 way too big. So I gotta reevaluate. I look at this as 32 and 96, and that's close to 30 and that's close to 90. How many threes, how many 30s are in 90? About three, just the same as threes in nine, right? So I'm gonna try three. Two times three, six. And three times three is? Nine, good, so that's exactly what I want. I put a three there, minus 96, I get zero, so I end up with 13 quarts of coffee. All right, so let's try another one. Okay, a room is 34 feet long, and I wanna find it in yards and feet, and every time I have yards and feet, that's a remainder, I know I'm gonna do a division problem, and I just have yards and feet, so they're right next to each other. How many feet are in a yard? Check the chart if you don't know, but hopefully you do remember this one. There's three, so I'm gonna take 34 and divide it by three. Okay, do this on your own, and then come back to me, please. All right, so let's check our work real quick. Three and the 34, how many threes can I take from three? That's that one, right? Bring down my four. How many threes can I take from four? I can only do it one time. And I get my remainder of one. So I've got 11 yards, right? And here's my remainder. Remainder, 
my new measurement. All right. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna try one more and then we'll do the last few problems on the last film. Okay. Here we got Anthony's puppy. And his puppy weighs eight pounds. How many ounces does his puppy weigh? So this is pretty straightforward. How many ounces in a pound? There's 16, there's more ounces per pound, right? So I'm gonna end up having to do what? Multiply, it shouldn't be less ounces than it is pounds, right? So I take how many ounces in a pound? 16, right? So I take 16 times eight, do that. And then I come up with my answer. I'm not doing it for you. Okay, all right, last couple problems coming up.